this segment is called Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> and once they had this equipment, you know, it was a great, there are these video parlors all over in the major towns of Asia where you look at these Indian movies and what have you. And Saturday Night Fever, I think, was one of them. So they called this segment Saturday Night Fever. And they used a movie as a drawing card to get people from their little hamlets around to gather. And once they had a captive audience there, the extension worker of agriculture or forestry would get up and say, this is what we're doing next Monday. And it sort of became a, a bulletin board for everybody. And he, so he's making announcements at, at this great gathering. And here, you can see a screen no bigger than this, and hundreds and hundreds of people sitting on the ground trying to hear and see it. And that's why, Fred, I'm so delighted that these projectors are coming along now. But what we really needed, they didn't mind. The image wasn't so bad if you could get the external um, sound speakers. So here they are. I think this is during the thunderstorm. We'll even see lightning in the sky in a minute. And in between uh, videos, they would have music and dancing and announcements. One of the difficulties when you were trying to use video seriously, of course, was that you'd get 120 children all hanging around interested, and you couldn't really get into serious discussions. Look, at there's the video. And these places don't have electricity, so you, we use a little Honda generator or a car battery with what we call an inverter, which converts the electricity. They're looking at some of their own videos, I can tell from the, the sound in the background. Yeah. And then an important part of, uh, of this process, this is Patton Lau, the local an anthropologist I told you about working with the trainees who've got some of their children there with them. Uh, and this is a discussion of utilization. It's one thing to learn to make the videos, and this was the person teaching them how to do the technical work. Dependra, he was from Worldview International Foundation. And he and Padam Lau worked together, and Paul McLeod worked through them in, in uh, these workshops with the women on now. Now you got this material, what are you going to do with it? Because just making material isn't very helpful unless it serves a, a constructive end. And so they're discussing here ways to go into the local wards, to hold meetings, to use the videos. I think you'll see Paul McLeod, who worked with us here, talking with them as well in a minute.
Now this is kind of fun. This is where the women are looking at their own material and you can see the excitement when they see some of the stuff they produced. And they're sitting down with uh, one of the young ladies from Worldview International Foundation and they're, they're, this is where they're making their documentaries. One is called Our, our Land and Our Health and another one is called Our Village, Our Life. And, and uh, so they're looking at what they've done here. And, and going through an editing process. See, there's the two videos, and they actually have an editing uh, board there, and they're making decisions about the documentary. Have you ever been able to pour water down your throat like that? <laughs> segment about daycare that goes into one of the documentaries after. And there's a person who's actually doing the editing work. What was the duration of this uh, project? Within, within well, for us, it was only a, a, one year. Mm -hmm. But it's continued after that, mm -hmm. uh, in that uh, it became part of what was called the K-Bird project, which was uh, Integrated Rural Development. That was a bilateral program. And these women have, in fact, gone on in health education and working in other communities as mm -hmm. in, the, in the district as well. And they're still functioning, which I was really glad to hear about. One of the questions that we were asked was, when you introduce something like this video technology, well, what happens, you know, when the project is over? You've raised expectations and everything else, and then it's gone. But I can tell you that these 10 women who, be, who were trained in the use of this, if they never use video again, the growth that they went through in the process will never be canceled out. And they now know how to deal with bureaucrats, know how to deal with issues that they had never known how to deal with before, have a lot of confidence. <laughs>